Hey everybody, Snake Doc here. And if you watched my last video on the TP9 SF Elite, I told you I was gonna have something new coming. And here it is, I picked it up yesterday. Didn't have time to make a video yesterday. So we're gonna do the unboxing here today. It's a Beretta. You can see the Beretta logo right here. It's a pretty nice case. It's got some finger grooves here on the grip. Um, nice plastic buckles on there. And then on the back side here, uh, it's got the feet and it has another Beretta logo here. It says Beretta USA, Gelatin, Tennessee, Galatin, don't know how to pronounce it, don't know. Um, but anyhow, let's see what's inside. So inside we have, this is the FR version of the 92X. So when I say FR, that means it's the full size version and it is a not a G model. So it is a safety and decocker not decocker only and I'll get to that in a minute why I chose this model um, and then the R stand it has a rail so let's take a look at what we have here um, it comes this is exactly how it comes it's covered in uh, some packing oil you can see it's pretty shiny it's kind of slathered up you can see some residue right there on the barrel top and everything but Let's go over what uh, the 92X means exactly and what you get. So uh, first thing first, you can see we have a Vertex, Vertex frame. So we have a, uh, a straight back strap instead of the traditional Beretta curved hump. How they give you an option of getting that is they give you a second grip, which is a wraparound grip, which is also what's coming with like the M9A3 and by putting that on it would cover these serrations um, this is checkered from the factory really aggressive these grips are super aggressive these are like needle points it's awesome um, and the interesting thing is so I'm not sure what the difference is in the grip thickness but they give you a second set of grip screws and, and serration, serrated washers so I don't know why I'd have to look in the manual to see why that is um, but also in the box you're going to get three 17 round magazines so we got two right there and then one in the gun these are 17 rounds there you can see 17 and these are made in italy uh, this pistol however is made in tennessee and there you can see on the slide where it says there you go tennessee made in the usa so the 92x models uh, all of them as far as i know are being made in tennessee um, so continuing up, we're going to see that we have a extended magazine release. So there you can see it sticks out a little bit and it has nice checkering on it. Um, the trigger guard is going to be different than the original 92FS um, where it's just it's thinner and it's rounded. It doesn't have the uh, combat style trigger guard like the normal Berettas do. Um, I chose the F model. Um, so it does stay down into safe and then um, it'll flip back up and it'll also decock so let's show that so it'll decock and then you have to flip it back up to go to fire the reason i went with that i had a g model in my cart and then i did some research on it and that it's not a true g model like uh the the tennessee special edition right now um, it's a conversion kit and if you ever seen the G model conversion kit this right side lever sticks way out and it looks really wonky um, not to mention that this is never gonna be like a defensive gun or anything where I have to worry about leaving it on safe or anything like that so a G model really wasn't necessary for me in this role that I plan to use this pistol in which is a range toy and maybe I'll do an IDPA practice or match with it I don't know um, so again, three slot Picatinny rail. If you guys watched my video on my Inox uh, Vertec, it had a one slot rail. Um, so this one has a three slot rail. But it, again, just like on the Vertex Inox, 4.7 inch barrel instead of the 4.9 inch barrel. But on this one, you get the recessed target crown. So this has the same crown as the um, Elite 2 has. So looking. I guess Berettas are all kind of like this now and this is a little upsetting but if you look at this muzzle and I don't even know if this is going to show up on camera I'm going to try here let's see if I can bring it in close but the barrel doesn't sit 
perfectly symmetrical to the cutout. So the barrel, to me, looks like it shifted this way in that cutout. Maybe that, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. So the cutout seems to be a little bit more that way. Now, Beretta addresses this on their website in an FAQ. They say it's not a problem, it doesn't affect accuracy. It's something to do with the way the barrel and the locking block lock into the slide. So other guys that have had that issue have experimented with different locking blocks that they may have from other guns and then they just play around until they get it to fit the best looking. So hopefully it's just an aesthetic thing. I don't know, we'll find out when I do some accuracy testing on it at the range. Um, the other thing is too, and I've seen this on a lot, and this is not bad by any means um, from some of the ones that I've seen pictures of, but it seems like the this bevel that is machined in right here is not equal. Like there's a defined ridge I can feel when I slide my thumb up on that side as opposed to this side, there's not quite. This is a vertex slide, so it gives you a changeable front sight. Uh, it's dovetailed. Now what the cool thing is on this, with the factory sights, you get a serrated solid black rear, which I love, and then you get a fluorescent orange front. I did not drip that paint in there. That's how this gun comes from the factory. So it comes with that nice high-vis orange in there already, which if you guys have been watching my channel long enough, you know that I black out the dots on most of my guns in the rear and I always do orange in the front. So this is perfect. And that's one of the other reasons I chose to get this. Um, so back to the frame, we have cross hatch checkering instead of just the straight vertical stuff that Beretta normally does. And you have it on the front and the rear. The other cool thing is this is actually longer than on the M9A3. So you're getting more checkering, which is normally, you know, a high dollar upgrade. Um, feels absolutely tremendous and locked in in hand. Um, it, it's, it's unbelievable how good these grips are. I can't explain the shape of it really. They just look like little rectangles, like really microscopic rectangles. But man, they really lock in and you get, and then with the extra checkering here, this gun is not going to move at all. Um, to the internals on this, some of the things that are different, you still have a plastic guide rod on there. So you still have the, the plastic guide rod, which I think, you know, Beretta really has pushed for that um, because they say, you know, it's like self-lubricating and it doesn't, if it bends, it, it flexes, that's part of the characteristics of it, or if you have a metal one and it bends, it can hinder the slide action. Um, but it's interesting that they, they chose to go with the polymer guide rod, but all the other polymer parts that are normally on the uh, 92FS in the M9, the polymer coated parts are solid steel on this now. So you no longer have the plastic trigger and um, the, you know this is metal, um, whereas those are plastic. Um, your safety's metal. Those are plastic coated on, on the newer Berettas. Um, also, they include the D-spring from the factory on this. So you have the reduced trigger pull and they say there's a term that they use for it i can't remember exactly but they call it like an enhanced fire control group or something like that um, but it is confirmed that there's no trigger bar geometry changes or anything like that you're not getting a langdon or a wilson trigger bar but you are getting a d-spring one thing i wish they would have done since they were doing that and they did it on the t i was between buying this and the tennessee limited edition Tennessee 92G gun. And there's two reasons I went with this. Number one, these are selling for ridiculously low prices right now. Like I got this one for 575 shipped and then there's a $100 mail-in rebate on 92Xs. So this I'm going to be all in on this for 475 bucks. So that is unbelievable cuz the list price on these is $799 and and they're well worth it with when you look at everything you're getting. Um so you're getting your three mags, extra grip, extra grip screws, upgraded sights, D-spring, better grip, extra checkering, different style um, trigger guard, a rail, um, enhanced trigger group, whatever that is. I don't think there's any difference. We know this gun is empty because I just racked it and showed you that. So we're going to do a dry fire. So a really nice double action pull. 
single action is going to have just that slight amount of trigger take up and then a nice real real easy break on there um we'll pop the slide off there and show you um so let me lock it back here we'll dump the mag out bring that forward and then you flip your takedown lever and then off it comes so here we can see the inside of the slide really nice typical beretta stuff there no machining problems recoil spring is not captured it's on the polymer guide rod on here i'm not going to pull it apart um, and then here we have just the nice frame we still have the enlarged uh, uh, hammer pin that catches the slide should the slide fracture and it comes you know like i said this is really lubed up already i'm gonna clean it before i fire it because it's over lubricated in my opinion um, and then we get a look at that recessed crown again. Recessed crowns are kind of a bear to clean. You usually got to use like a toothpick dipped in hoppies and, and scrape that out. Um, but they, they look cool and supposedly they enhance accuracy somewhat. I don't know if there's any truth in that. Um, the 17 round mags have the thick base plate on it. You can get 18 rounders and 20 rounders by Metgar. The 20 rounders have the plus two on them. They're the 18 rounder with the plus two. 18 round mags are a flush fit on this and they're a recommended magazine aftermarket magazine um, and then of course you can still use your 15 rounders as well uh, let's see what else comes in the case so there is some foam right there it must have come in this blue bag my ffl must have taken it out so you could write the serial number down and then underneath here oh there's a lock a cable lock right here that comes in the um, inside of this extra grip and inside this foam right here we can see we have the 92x manual and some other paraphernalia there from beretta so i'm looking forward to it i'm really excited i think it's a smoking deal i mean how can you go wrong the pro for under 500 dollars to get a 92x not just an fs or an m9 I mean, unbelievable deal right now. So I think that runs through the end of March, that rebate. If you go on Beretta.com um, slash promotion or something like that, you can find out more about it. And you don't have to mail it. You can do it right online. So I submitted a PDF or a JPEG of my receipt, and then I entered my serial number in on there, and then you submit the form, and then they give you a little printout um, with a, a rebate tracking information on it. So hopefully it doesn't take three months to get that $100 back, but if it does, it does. I just want to see it come back to me at some point. Um, so there it is. We're at a 92X. Again, this is the FR version. So here we can see we have J. There's the model number exactly. J92FR921. And I picked this up from LockedAndLoaded.com. Um, right now they have them on sale for $559.99 and $15 shipping. So check them out if you're interested in one. They do have Centurions. They have G models, compact models. You can get the compact model with or without the rail on it. And remember, Metgar is now making 15-round flush fit mags for the compact. So if you're looking at doing one of these for a concealed carry roll, it's not a bad option. It's still a Beretta. It's still going to be wide. It's still going to be kind of bulky. You're still going to have an exposed slide, so those are some things to consider when thinking about a Beretta for carry. Um, I guess that's kind of it for right now, and I appreciate you guys watching, and always shoot safe.